Okay, so I just purchased this MacBook Pro M1. It's the base model with just eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD. And I wanted to give it an apples to apples comparison with my gaming computer uh, slash video editing computer that I built uh, a couple months ago. And it's got an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, uh, 1066 gigabyte because I'm waiting for a graphics card and you can't get a graphics card anywhere. And it also has uh, 16 gigs of RAM. So it's got, should have, theoretically, here, hold on a second, should have, theoretically, the upper hand here. So I have the same project open in DaVinci Resolve 17. If you can see here, it's the public beta. Uh, this is optimized for the MacBook Pro M1s. So both of these projects are in 4K30. And I do have the render, uh, what's it called? the render cache set to smart on both of these. Now, before I start showing you guys uh, the playback and just the differences, I just want to let you guys know I am just an average YouTuber or I'm not professional. Uh, I don't really know too much about video editing programs and doing cinematic things, so don't expect like giant B-roll footage. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, the normal consumer, some guy just who does this for a hobby, uh, what they're going to see performance-wise with this new Mac compared to a Windows, a built Windows PC. So let's go ahead and, and jump right in to the playback and exporting and see the results. All right, we'll go ahead and start things off with the Windows PC. Just hit the play button on the space bar right there and three, two, one. So overall, it's pretty smooth because obviously it's rendered here. You can see the little blue bar. Um, but you know, if I start clicking around, see a little bit of lag there. Pretty good bit of lag. Obviously the, um, the transitions are already rendered based on that render setting that I had earlier. So they're gonna be pretty smooth, but I don't know if you guys saw that, but that lag every time I click, click the mouse. So you guys get an idea of what the playback is on this PC. Now the reason why I'm not using a recording program is because I want all the performance on here and not based on the computer. So we're doing things 2010 style, uh, recording a screen with a phone. All right, so now let's go ahead and move to the Mac and I want to show you guys this. All right, so here's the Mac. Obviously pretty smooth because we still have the, uh, that smart render cache, whatever. But if I go ahead and click somewhere, look at that. No pausing. Look at that. Instant. Okay, let's go ahead and stop it and then scrub here, you know. Scrub back. Look at that. All right, now let's go ahead and scrub on the Windows PC. Look at the lag, it's so bad. Come on. Oh, there we go, now it's starting to smooth out. All right, let's scroll back. Look at the lag. All right, let's go back to here. All right, let's go really fast. All right, let's be stupid now. Wow, okay, now let's try that with the Windows PC. That's terrible. It's amazing. It's amazing what these things can do. All right, so that's just the playback, and that's that's the overall editing experience. Now, I edited, I edited the video on this thing, and then did some um, finishing touches on this thing as well. And obviously, I just copied and pasted both project files when I was completed, just to make sure it was apples to apples. But this thing is way better to add to edit on. It runs so much smoother. The playback is so much smoother. I mean it. I mean, you can just see that. Like, look, let me just click, click around. But you guys get the point, so. All right, so let's go ahead and export both of these um, and see which one comes out on top. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and begin the render process. I am rendering in the QuickTime format uh, H.264 codec, um, and I restricted the bit rate to 91,000 kilobytes a second. And just wanna show you guys. Same thing here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, and we're off to the races. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. 
two minutes and 55 seconds remaining. So we'll have to see which one's going to get done first. Holy cow, the MacBook is utterly destroying my computer. This thing's got an NVMe SSD too. It's got a uh, Crucial P1, one terabyte. That's what it's editing on. Holy cow. So the MacBook just completed in one minute and 15 seconds, and this thing is still going. It's not even halfway, it's halfway done. This thing just literally, wow, this is, this is crazy. I've never used a Mac before, ever. Like, I, I have no experience in Mac. I have, I just don't know anything about them, but this is insane. I spent over $1,000 building this thing. I spent about the same, yeah, they're both about the same price. Wow. Wow. And that's coming from a guy who used to hate these and make fun of people for buying these things. Sorry, guys. I get it now. That's crazy. And I, I want to point this out. We're at 69 <laughs> degrees Celsius. And coming out of the top of this thing. I mean, it's hot. And this thing, I mean, it's, it's not even, it's not even hot at all. The fans didn't even kick on. This thing has fans. It didn't even kick on. And this thing's blowing out 69 degrees Celsius heat out of the top of that thing. That is crazy. That is, that is crazy. No heat at all. That is unbelievable. All right, this thing just finished in 2 minutes and 34 seconds. So it literally took half the time to export 4K 30 footage. That is unbelievable. All right, so I think that'll be a wrap on this video. If you guys want to see more comparisons, uh, let me know in the comments. And let me know what you guys would like to see between these two computers. And I'll be sure to post it and edit it together. So I, I'm just completely shocked. I didn't think it would... I, I can't even talk right now, but like, yeah, it's... Very, very impressive this machine is. So consider subscribing if you want to see more of this uh, stuff. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.